All right, guys, we have fucking awesome news. Uh, it's been a very, very, very dry week on JP Dokkan. No login bonus, no nothing going on. Uh, I was actually expecting a day to download tonight, but looks like we are not going to get it tonight, which is actually kind of weird. I'm still thinking there's a chance we get a day to download tonight. Uh, we'll go through why, and I'll kind of explain uh, in detail. Now, one of the other things that I do want to point out is they did just release an app update. Uh, I presume this will be coming to Global Dokkan, like, within days as well. Uh, this, well, okay, at least what this part of the app update is for JP is they're making it so that there's widescreen support for, like, the iPhone X and the newest uh, Galaxy phone. Like, you know, I'm using the... I, okay, I'm not, I don't know, what, what is it, the Note 8? Yeah, yeah, I've got the Note 8, uh, and, like, the top and bottom have black bars. Uh, after this update, uh, those black bars are actually filled in, which is very nice. So, that is a good thing with this update. Again, this is the type of thing, I actually could see this coming to global, like, almost immediately, so there shouldn't be any concern with that. Uh, we also have, basically... Uh, details for kind of like a celebration on JP. Not really a celebration, but just like, you know, new stuff, right, that, that will be coming. Now, first thing I want to point out is that this art for uh, Kid Goku right here, I don't think that's used in game. And then we also have this art as well. So, chance that we could be getting uh, some new Kid Goku sometime soon. We got a login bonus with potential orbs. Daddy loves that. Um, and then we also have uh, some missions. Again, potential orbs. That's all your boy needs to see to get excited. Now, here we go. Uh, we have a Dokkan motherfucking festival. Now, this is on the 31st. This actually was a little bit of a surprise to me. So, that means this is Wednesday night for me. Uh, not tomorrow night, but the next day after. Uh, I was actually surprised. I thought Gohan was coming tomorrow. Uh, LR Trunks is still coming tomorrow, but Future Gohan is on for two days, so that's a little disappointing, but motherfuckers, uh, Tech fucking Vegito Blue is on the banner. Now, this category is Future. I presumed it was going to be any character from the future, but it looks like it might be any character that fought in the future, which would mean Vegito Blue is on, like, yo... All of a sudden, this this team and category is like, hmm, <laughs> I mean, because you put this bad motherfucker on there. I'm going to tell y'all right now, uh, I am rainbowing Tech Vegito Blue on this banner. Like, that's just, that's a, fa that's a fact that I'm doing that. Uh, I will be rainbowing Tech Vegito Blue, so I might rainbow uh, Future Gohan as well. We'll see. But Future Gohan, uh, we don't actually have any details uh, for him quite yet. Uh, besides the fact that he is a physical unit and he's a future category leader. Those are the only two things we know. Uh, I'm very excited. Now, if we go to Dismal Future, uh, this, like, Tech Vegito Blue being there. By the way, I don't think he would be there displayed on the banner like that if he wasn't actually on uh, the category. Like, like that's just weird for them to have just put him there, to plop them, him there. So, I think all of these units are going to be on the category. All of these guys are. Now, the one thing I don't know about now is I don't know if it's going to include some of these Trunkses. Like, the physical LR Trunks. Uh, he is Trunks, you know, from the future, but he fights in the present. Uh, this Trunks right here, killing Frieza. Uh, I hope he's on the category. It certainly would make sense, but he might not be on there now. Uh, because it looks like definitely any character that ever fought in the future looks like it's a safe bet they'll be on here. So we could see um, a base form Goku, uh, and we could see Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Vegeta uh, on the category as well. Uh, so I presume the STR Super Saiyan Blue Goku uh, could make it onto the category. That's very interesting to me. Uh, definitely looking forward to that. Definitely looking forward to rainbowing this guy. So uh, this is news for y'all on Global as well. This is probably when Tech Vegito Blue will be coming back next for Global. Uh, although Global is probably not going to get this until like uh, October, November, something like that. But there we go. Physical Future Gohan is coming. Uh, not tomorrow night, but the day after. Uh, and that'll be pretty sick. Uh, this, of course, is his Dokkan Fest event. Now, this is very interesting to me. 
uh, we have the physical type banner. Let me actually bring up something because I feel as though there's a chance that Bardock, yeah, this ends on the 31st. I think LR Bardock is going to be on that banner. Uh, so that's going to be wild. Like, you're going to have LR Bardock on there and you're going to have LR, uh, whatchamacallit. Wait, let me double check. I want to double check. There's, it would just have the two LRs, right? LR Bardock and LR Trunks. Uh, those would be the two LRs that would be um, on the physical type banner, right? Uh, yeah, because uh, LR Gogeta will not be on that. The Ginyu Forest won't be, and then that Gohan's free to play. So Bardock and Trunks uh, should be on this banner. They may not put Bardock on it, though, because uh, they have done stuff like that in the past, where like if, if it's so, so close like that, they won't immediately flip him and put him on the banner. So we'll see. Uh, I will be summoning on this banner because I don't have this Super Boo right there. I don't have him, so I'll make sure to summon until I get him. Plus, I'll also be able to pick up some more Elder Kai's so I can get, like, uh, my LR Beerus SA-20, uh, my TUR Bojack SA-10, things like that. Now, next thing we have. This is tomorrow night. Uh, tomorrow night, right here, we have uh, the free-to-play Prime Battle LR Trunks is coming. Now, uh, I've heard... The text for Trunks is written in blue. Uh, for me, that confirms that he is going to be an AGL unit. I'm seeing some people actually saying they, they're they not sure. Like, they don't think that's confirmation. But, like, I, I would say, without a doubt, that's absolutely confirmation. He will be AGL. Uh, another thing I want to point out is that right here, only character that can be the fellow at the top decisive battle event who can protect the future of peace in the event can challenge. Now, this can be interpreted, I think, one of two ways. I could be wrong in this, but I thought this was saying only future ARC category units could, like, participate in the event. Uh, but I've seen people say what it actually means is it's just going to have the same restrictions as LR Goku or LR Frieza. Uh, the only reason I'm not so sure is because that means that you should just be able to use the Kid Gohan, cap, like, uh, Ginyu Forest team, and you would just blow through this in seconds. Like, that's why I, I feel as though there's going to be something more to this. It's not just going to be the same restriction as LR Freeze and Goku. I really could see it having to be these uh, future category units, and then the Trunks would just be a lot stronger than the other Prime Battles, because, you know, if you could use, if you could run up, like, Tech Vegito Blue in there or something, uh, that certainly would be wild. Um, also... It does look as though uh, the stamina will be halved. No, wait, wait. That might only be for these two. Hmm. Yeah. I, so I'm, I'm, I'm presuming the Trunks event will be 50 stamina. And then the Goku and the Frieza, they're going to be reduced to 25 stamina. Okay. Uh, we also have the uh, future Trunks story event. Uh, I guess this could be interesting because you should be able to farm... This Trunks right here, there could be another new Trunks. You know, who knows how many new cards might come along with future Gohan uh, and this Trunks. We, we definitely 100% confirm, if we don't get a uh, data download at some point tonight, we will get one tomorrow night for sure. Uh, we also have this story event. Uh, I don't know that there's any new info about this. Uh, this event is always good to farm up the... Uh, what do you call it, the Gravity Chambers, and I do think the SR Future Gohan from this event could uh, Dokkan Awaken into a Super Saiyan Future Gohan, which would allow you to farm up the Super Attack of the physical uh, Future Gohan, and he also could awaken into a free-to-play leader uh, for the Future category. Uh, I'm also talking about... Here, let me bring him up real quick. I'm talking about the SR uh, Physical Future Gohan. I'm sure a lot of you guys know who I'm talking about. But, like, the way uh, his stats are kind of set up, like, all types attack 15%, I could easily see that become, like, future category key to and all stats, like, 30% or something like that. So, that could be pretty cool. Uh, let's see. We also have Tech Cell. His EZA will be on the 7th of June. Uh, his EZA, of course, will be weak to the future category. So we already know, uh, you know, what team we're going to be using to take care of him. Looks like that's going to be basically the entire month of June. So the next EZA will be in July. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, here we have 
Uh, Perfect Cells event will be up that whole time. Yeah, they usually do that so that you can awaken the units. Uh, and then here is the EZA banner, as we uh, expected. Int Gogeta is on there, and then there's Tech Cell. Uh, I suppose the other unit that could be on that banner maybe would be... Um, hmm. I guess it could be Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, right? Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta could be the unit that would be on the like the third one on that banner. Let me see uh, Super Int Fierce Battle units. It's either going to be Blue Vegeta or I guess it could be Ultimate Gohan as well. Uh, in terms of that last unit on that banner. Yeah, it's probably going to be Blue Vegeta for sure. Okay, and that, yeah, that would make sense because Blue Vegeta, now that Tech Vegito Blue is going to be on the future category, it looks like, Blue Vegeta probably will be on that category as well, which would make him very effective for this Tech Cell EZA. Hmm, okay, so Int Vegito could also be another character that could, well, no, hmm, I don't know. Would Int Vegito be on both the Boo Saga arc and the Future arc? That's really, really hard to tell. That's interesting. Uh, all right, so we also have Dokkan Battlefield. Uh, looks like is going to be reset on the first. Uh, that's good because I still don't have the physical LR Ginyu Force. Uh, I've been, you know, awakening all the other units. Uh, but I like that, you know, the Dokkan Battlefield now is just constantly up and they'll be cycling out new prizes and stuff. Hopefully they can give us, like, new... Uh, uh, like, enemies, though, to fight. That would be pretty fucking cool. Uh, and then we also have a Super Sail. Ooh, Super Sail, that's good. Uh, Super Sails are crazy. Uh, and then we have two times... Two fucking times quest experience. I don't know how much, uh, two times quest experience is really relevant nowadays. It, uh, question... It's not. <laughs> it's fucking dumb. But, alright, guys. So, tomorrow night, we have the LR Free-to-Play Future Trunks. Uh, I will probably try to stream as soon as it drops um and then the night after we have the future gohan banner dropping uh i probably will probably try and stream uh that as well uh, i'm probably gonna do several streams over the next couple days uh farming up this uh lr future trunks because it is going to be a long grind, probably going to be 777 medals, like previous prime battles. So I'll probably do a lot of this grinding while actually on stream. Uh, my goal will be just to complete the trunks probably before Tech Cells EZA comes out on the 7th. Although, if this trunks really is AGL, he'll be worthless in the Tech Cell EZA. That is something to keep in mind. But, alright guys. Uh, I feel like this goes ahead and covers all the news. Future Gohan, Tech Vegito Blue coming. Very, very exciting. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.